So when I was querying on YouTube, I saw I saw you. So let me try and listen for your, for your first video. So your first video got my attention. I watched the second one. It has about 48 or 54 minutes. I watched the third. I watched the fifth. I watched the sixth. <laughs> so when I saw your LinkedIn, <laughs> so I saw your LinkedIn account when somebody requested, I said yes. I said I need to talk to I need to talk to you and I'll actually see if I can you know, um, you know, get some things that I have. I'm not too clear with, but. Your video actually answer about seventy or eighty percent, or even not eighty five percent of my of my question, of my of my concern. You know, I I bought some some material on Fiverr you know, because of the nature of my job. I've not been able to you know, sit down and look at them. So I'm just looking for something like a key point that will quickly guide me and you know go straight to the point and do what I need to do and you know, and get the job done. Then come back later, you know, and look. I'm now practicing for. Know how to get my hands dirty really well, but at least first, let me clear this exam and you know, move on to the next one. So my, my first question is those tools that you install, those tools that you install, like those two that you install, like do you are those tools are going to be used on the real exam? That's my number one question, or uh, e council is going to give us uh, a platform where we are going to actually you know use their own machine to explore or to actually answer those uh, those questions now I've, all the video you uh, all the tools you, you mentioned i installed all of them from going to several sites going to the nmap.org to get script for process to get script for other things going installing a uh, crypto installing a vera, a vera scripts installing other things so i follow step by step and i try to do them some of them because um, I'm in the office, when I leave office, my internet IP will change when I get home. So when I do IP address on the, the Linux command, my IP address changes, and there are some things I'm not able to get, like, you know, the way you did this ages. So I want to know, is that how, is this the way you have done Is how I'm going to have it done on the exam? Or I'm going to use those applications I install on my laptop for the exam, or all those resources will be on the uh, machine will be provided by AC Council. So uh, yes. let me cover it in a way that uh, I have used a platform that is uh, called Attack Defense Lab and that is provided by the Pentester Academy. And uh, there we have different modules to cover and uh, they provide the simulation labs to uh, do the same thing. Since it's a paid lab, so I can't recommend it. I can't recommend that because it's an expensive one. It's uh, It costs around $200, $300. I have borrowed it from someone else actually. To demonstrate people about like how they are going to perform it, right? Because we can't create a simulation lab of different IPs uh, using the VM itself to demonstrate uh, about the NMAP scans, right? To find the live host and to enumerate the host because running the services on different hosts will be a tough task to you know uh, make an environment about that. Uh, instead of that, uh, you can use either the Try Hack Me paid rooms. We have another platform that we can utilize, Hack the Box Academy. Instead of main Hack the Box platform, we can use the Hack the Box Academy platform. There you will get uh, different modules. And if you search for different uh, uh, services like SMB modules, if you search for NetBias module, you can follow up uh, to practice on those two platforms. Okay, Those two are kind of free platform and some of the uh, labs are paid. And that costs a minimal amount of uh, $10, I guess, $10 to $14, minimal amount of $10 to $14 to practice. And uh, you can practice from that. But so I will recommend you that uh, uh, your main priority should be to at least clear the exam. And you need to pass only 14 questions. You need to uh, solve only 14 questions, right? And you can do it very easily because the hard questions are only four to five. And literally, we can say a hard question is from one to three in a total amount. And decent questions are from like two to three. So in total, we can say that one to five questions are from decent to the hard one. Okay. So don't panic about the exam. It is easy exam. I know. <laughs> I, I I have I have uh, uh, helped many other people as well, not on the video, but uh, during the call and in person, I've helped many people to clear the exam as well. I was planning to clear this exam for a very long time, but uh, I was not able to, uh, you know, uh, schedule it because of my tight schedule uh, in my company during the work hours. I used to think that I will be able to do it, but I was not able to do it. So uh, these are the things that uh, I covered and I would like to suggest. No, um, you've answered me that um, I want to know that the, all the simulations that were installed, the tools that you installed, that you used for the practice, 
I want to confirm if uh, they are the same tools uh, that will be presented on the exam day, you know, like using the same uh, tools, the same uh, um, space. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Yeah, the tools are exactly the same. The tools that I've installed is the prescribed room, prescribed one uh, from the EC Council itself. They have utilized in this EH exam and they totally allow us to use those tools. So you can uh, install those tools. You can use those tools. And I have installed those tools into my own working laptop, not in the office laptop, in my own personal laptop. And you can install it as well to, you know, uh, practice it. And those tools are totally allowed into the exam and they will be those tools will be provided in the exam itself. So, okay. uh, in, yeah, okay, it, okay. in the exam, yeah, yeah in the exam, uh, in the questions, it will be mentioned that from where you can find that too. It will be mentioned in the question that uh, if you want to, if this tool is to be utilized, then you can get this tool from this and this directory or it will be placed in the desktop itself. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, um, I think that's that. So, I want to confirm again. No, from your video one to six, I have taken Jota, I've taken note of almost or everything you said step by step, I've taken note of it because I want to actually put it out in a notepad. So during the exam, I have something to reference, you know, to quickly yeah, look yeah. at and, you know, and so get that, that set to that. So I want, another question I want to ask is, you know, I've taken notes, I've taken these notes, all these notes. Can I use my notes beside me and be looking at it? Is it allowed in the exam? No. <laughs> Nah, no, 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 no. I'm afraid about that. Uh, don't. I would suggest instead of taking handwritten notes uh, into a paper, you must take a notes in your OneNote tool or any other tool and you can reference it at that time. They will not ask you that uh, you can't reference it. You can reference it, but it needs to be in your laptop or you in your device. Uh, no external notebooks, no external, uh, you know, devices. All things will not be allowed. You need to have an empty desktop and a clean desktop. Your reference should be into your device itself. Any type of reference. You can even Google it since it's a open book exam. So you can sure. Google it and you can refer. Uh, you can refer your notes that is in your uh, device. Okay. So okay, that's noted. That's noted. So how time management is very important. You know, when you the exam, time management. I know it's five hours exam, but time management is very very important. And how one can actually the advice how one can actually. Hence, maybe on your stock, move on to the next exam and don't stay too much time on that exam and that particular question and move to the next question. Maybe as you're, time, as you're answering one question, you might have you no know, idea of how to resolve the previous question. You go back to that question and resolve the, uh, the question actually. You understand? So uh, my suggestion will be like, uh, initially, you just go through all the questions initially and uh, just make a note in your mind that, okay, this is the easy one. At least I can do this. Okay. This is the easy one. I can do this. I can relate with this question. And this is uh, the thing uh, which I can perform in a short span of time. Solve. You just solve it without any second thought. After that, the rest of the questions, uh, what you need to do is you need to give time to each question to understand because the questions are not that much tricky. The questions will be from the things which I have explained. It will be the only scenario. They will just uh, give you a different scenario for the same question. So far, you actually motivated me, I have to say, before we go. So I want to say that you have actually given me encouragement. You know, you have motivated me. You, your video, you know, it's simple, it's clear, it's coincides, and it goes straight to the point. You understand that? Um, I even showed it to a colleague of mine at the office that was planning to write this down and said, okay, you will go through it as well. As well, I've even downloaded this on my laptop in case I'm on the go. I watch it so to to when I to when I write the exam, you understand? You just want me to you know to be conversant with those um, those uh, commands and all of that. Even though it's an open exam, but at the same time, for time management purposes, you know, just like I've said that um, there are some you don't even need to go far, just remember and just quickly answer that within one minute and two minutes, then you are good to go. So I want to thank you for your time, for the uh, for the for for listening to me, for coming all this way to 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 have a video uh, conversation with me. So thank you. Uh, thanks, thanks, Sam. And uh, it's, it's a happy moment for me as well, as I already said. Uh, I feel happy to help others. I feel happy to teach as well. And I wish uh, after six days you will ping me back that you clear your exam. <laughs> okay, we are gonna have okay. another video. <laughs> so we we'll have another we we'll have another 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 meeting. So I will share my experience. So this is this is me. 
I it doesn't matter. I share my success and I share my failure. You understand? You know, I've been yeah. in industry for I've been in industry for a while now, so it has been up and down. You can you can you cannot. I believe that you you, you we we cannot win it. Well, we can only try our best. And from what I've learned, every failure is a point that says. You've learned something that does not work, and you actually improve yourself on how to make it work. So I believe you can clear this exam as well. It's it's not that much tough. I already mentioned in my videos as well, and I again, I'll say you that uh, everyone can clear the exam. It's not that much. Yeah, tough. I think I think I'm just giving you too much respect. Now I'm I'm taking out the respect. I'm going to hit it really bad now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. Okay. All okay. Right. So. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so. Uh, I wish you uh, at the last. Uh, I wish you that you clear your exam, and uh, I would like to hear you back the next guest. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So we are good to go. All the best, huh? Bye.